so myself manshi das i am a graduate uh, post graduate in forensic science from national forensic science university and uh, my uh, i'm doing a paper presentation on a research study uh, naming a comparative study of a natural variation seen in uh, signatures done on the paper and the electrical uh, pad or application so as we know uh, the technology is advancing and everything is becoming uh, digital and uh, uh, the connectivity and the data uh, generation due to the rapid development of uh, digitalization and technologies is being more advanced so due to this advancement has contributed in the use of signatures done on electrical pads or application rather than signatures done on the traditional paper pen so for this and for the signatures to become very, uh, common forgery will eventually take place so to uh, a examination should be uh, a examination should be carried out uh, to examine such signatures made on the electrical pad or surface so uh, like uh, and like paper signatures electrical signatures are simply handwritten signatures in form of electronic versions linked directly to the identity of the signer where the surface works by receiving and transmitting the electromagnetic induction by and to the stylus so and these uh, electrical signatures are nowadays being common in banks in, uh, in banks in delivery uh, during by delivery verification biometric security checkpoints pos transactions network access controls some bills and etc uh, the us has passed an e sign act in 2000 to make legal the electrical uh, signatures named as UETA act the uniform uh, electrical transaction act and the aim uh, of this study is to identify the differential variation between the traditional paper signatures and the modern electrical signatures we are uh, verifying the class and individual uh, characteristics between both of them and the identification of natural variations that are occur uh, which are independent and dependent of the surface type when doing a signature on a paper and and on the electrical surface through some uh, statistical data analysis the hypothesis that is the alternative hypothesis that is set in this uh, study is uh, the characteristic of the signature is dependent upon the type of surface on which it has been signed for methodology i have selected 50 subjects collected samples from 50 subjects where i asked them to do 10 signatures on paper and 10 10 signatures on the electronic uh, screen i have opted and uh, for instrumentation i have opted the mob uh, mobile device smartphone device for uh, using the signature and uh, electrical stylus for uh, the uh, for uh, penmanship and uh, the uh, application i used is ibis paint which is more of a uh, uh, design uh, application for the sample analysis uh, i uh, the cache that i choose for uh, verification and examination of the uh, uh, paper signatures and electronic signatures is the sizes the dimensions that includes the height and length of the signature spacing slant proportion speed alignment line quality connecting strokes simplifications tremors shape of i dots position of i dots change in vertical star formation of letters loops terminal endings cap of letters and change in angularity of the letters the results of discussion i have uh, uh, may uh, Opted uh, of the 19 uh, characteristics for results and discussion, where I am showing two of the uh, results, where uh, which includes the first uh, for the positive uh, 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 result, that is the size of sig uh, signature, where uh, I have uh, conducted uh, statistical data, chi-square test. Pearson correlation, Z test for the size of signature done on paper and on the electrical pad. or application for the uh, the chi square test is nothing but a statistical validation uh, st statistical validation for the null, null and hi uh, alternate hypothesis that we set to have the expected values and uh, 
the significant value that I have set for this uh, 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 examination is 0 0.05 p-value. The z-test is not any expected value. It is just the two uh, uh, examination of two population mean for uh, that are different when the variation is known. And it's for a large size of samples. The Pearson correlation is the relation between the two variables that is paper signature and the electrical patch signatures. This is a, a, a demonstration of signature of a, a demonstration graph of the size of signatures done on paper and on the electrical pad, which uh, and the image of example showing the uh, size of signature, the comparison of the signature on paper and on the electrical pad. The uh, above one is for the signature on paper and the uh, below one is uh, for the electrical pad. Uh, and for the discussion of this, the p-value of the chi-square test is found to be less than uh, 0 0.0001, which is less than the uh, P value that we have said, the significant value that I have said, 0 0.05, which shows that there is significant variation between the size of signature done on the paper and on the electrical application by uh, electrical pad or application by the electrical stylus. And for the uh, and the size of both the signatures shows a strongly negative correlation that can be seen here. From, uh, the Pearson value is minus one, which shows a strongly negative correlation. That means there is large variations that are observed in the size of signature done on paper and on electrical pad slash application. And this is for uh, a, a positive uh, uh, result. That is the pos position of I dot when, do uh, when doing a position of I dot, the, uh, uh, the person, uh, that can be seen is uh, the result is that we have the chi square test as uh, 4.5714, which is more uh, more than uh, the p, uh, p value for the chi square test is 0 0.01017, 0, uh, 0 which is more than the set high, uh, significant value that is 0 0.05. So there is. Uh, less, uh, there is no sig uh, significant variation that can be seen statistically in this. And uh, the uh, Pearson correlation is 0 0.12325, uh, which shows that it is giving a positive uh, uh, correlation where it says that it has less variations. This is a, a example for the signature done on the paper, the above one, and the signature done on the electrical pad, the below one, where we can see the uh, uh, position of I dot is uh, done on the right, on the paper side, and the I dot is positioned on the left when doing on the electrical pad or application. And this is a de demonstration of graphical uh, data uh, between the positions left middle and right in uh, electric uh, paper signature and electrical patch signature. So in conclusion, uh, we can say that there are differences between the signature signed on the paper and the signature signed on the electrical pad and they have variations depending on certain class and individual classes that show significant variations accepting the alternate hypothesis that features is dependent on surface so those features that are dependent on surface are the size of signature spacing between the letters of the signature proportion line quality simplification in the signature tremors shape of I dots, formation of letters, change in angularity of letters in the signature. These parameters and on the electrical pad. And among the features that are independent of the surface, accepting the null hypothesis that there uh, that no uh, variation between them. Uh, that there is. Am I audible? Hello? Yes, you are yes, audible. You are. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, 
and among the features that independent of the surface accepting the null hypothesis is when signing on a paper and on an electrical pad application show, uh, showing similarities are the dimensions that are the height and length of the signature the uh, slant the speed the alignment connecting strokes position of the eye dots change in very uh, vertical staff the uh, formation of loops and all so uh, and to conclude this study i would say that we can have a future scope we can increase this study by increasing the sample size by changing the device by doing a gender specific study and else we uh, this study can help the examiners uh, that uh, if they uh, examiners of question document if they get an uh, case involving the electrical signature and the paper signature that's it thank you thank you so much mansi so i would okay. request to remember to ask the question to mansi about her work Mansi, very nice presentation and good topic. Uh, can you tell me what was your null hypothesis? Sir, uh, my null hypothesis is that uh, the uh, characteristic of the signature is independent of the surface and stylus type. And the alternative, uh, alternative hypothesis that I said was that the characteristics of the signature is dependent upon the surface or, uh, on which it has been. Mansi, we could not hear you. Oh, uh, am I audible right now? Yeah, you are audible. Hello? Please continue. Yeah, oh, right. okay. Please continue. Okay, so the uh, the null hypothesis that I said is that the uh, characteristics of the signature is independent of the surface and the stylus type, and the alternative uh, alternate hypothesis that I said was that the characteristic uh, of the signature is dependent upon the uh, type of surface and on which it has been written and the stylus type. 